Hello and welcome. It's uh, 8 p.m. over here in Spain and I am a little bit earlier than foreseen. Uh, but uh, I got a message tonight just when I was about to uh, do my class with my students from the Small Animal uh, course. And it's from a friend of mine and she writes me, Hi Eva, hope you're well. Bunny, my little Spanish mutt, has just had a stroke. The vet says it's like being on the waters making her disoriented and legs not cooperating. I am doing the general points, but could you please let me know of any specific points that can help her? Of course, I immediately reacted to let her know, please go to your information pack that you have for the humans, because there is a booklet in there, okay? There's a booklet called Stroke, um, and so to do those points, and I also told her to do the think points, of which I've been talking uh, just a few days ago and showing you the pictures. And then Heather said, thanks Eva, I will start after she's had a little bit of tea. And that's when I said, okay, uh, try to make some chicken stock. And I said, I'm going to talk about this during the live of tonight. So let me get this straight for everybody who has no idea what to do so imagine something happens with your pet or with your horse with your cat it doesn't matter even with yourself or, or with a, a family member if you don't know which points to do do standard points what heather called here the general points but they're called standard points and do the thing points the thing points i talked about it go and look up those pictures it has every nail of uh, fingers and toes. So um, in, in, in the case of a dog, it's at all his nails. Okay, That is going to give energy to every single meridian. And then by the time you get home, then you go and look up your booklets. Now, in case, let me see, because I don't see myself here. <laughs> I'm gone. Let me see if I can share my page. No, he won't let me share my page. Okay, so that's not fun. Let me try to open this. And no, uh, I, I just came on with a Facebook Live through Chrome, and that one won't let me share my page. Because I wanted to show to you what you do whenever you come back from the vet and, and you know what's going on. It's a question of going through the list of the animal, the information pack of the animal, and go and look up the points. Now, if, like I've said, uh, explained this before, Dr. Brian McLaren only made videos or made information booklets of the most typical diseases for the dog, other ones for the cat, other ones for the horse, and so on. So if you don't find the booklet that you need, in your information pack, go to the general information pack for people that has 120 different kinds of conditions and ailments being described by Dr. Brian McLaren, what you need to do. Now, in this case, this little dog has nystagmus. Nystagmus of the eyes is when the eyes go quickly from left to right. Okay, I've had that for about, oh, I think about six or seven months. Not all the time, but if I did a special movement with my head, I would have that. That was after my a very severe accident in December 2015 with broken uh, ribs and head trauma and so on. So I know what it's like. But And also when you're feeling like that, you will be nauseous. And if you're feeling nauseous, you don't really want to eat. And if you've had a stroke, it's not so logical to just eat your normal stuff. So, my advice here is, apart from doing the points, think points, standard points, and once she was home, the booklet of stroke, is also take care of what you're going to feed the dog. What I always have in the house, in my, in my uh, freezer, I buy chicken, and I will cook it with the bones and everything. I will cook it for at least six hours. That gives me a strong chicken broth, okay? And I will then put that in, in little uh, containers and in the freezer for the day when I will need it. Now, take a little bit of chicken stock, put some water with it, let your dog drink this. It's easy digestible for the dog, okay? He will get a lot of nutrients in because the nutrients in this chicken stock are higher 
than in any piece of chicken that you can give the dog. So give him the chicken stock and let him drink. And that the dog stays one day without food is not a problem. But you do not want to take the risk that some of the food stays stuck. So make the chicken broth and in the beginning uh, dilute it with a bit of water and let the dog drink this. I see that Heather has just arrived. So Heather, uh, I've already spoken five minutes about this. So make sure to go back and, and listen to the beginning to know what I advise you to do. Now, the fact is also that when you are going then to the information booklets in the humans about stroke, you're going to say, yeah, but Eva, those points are in the human. I don't know where they are in the dog. Well, they are at the same location. So, for example, governor's vessel 26, for us it's here, but it's also at the same spot for the dogs. Uh, above the upper lip and the two openings of the nose. Okay, so just see where the point is on the human, read where the, uh, Dr. Brian McLaren has described it, where it is, and just transpose these points on your animal. Heather, in your case, if you have really no clue about a point, just contact me again, okay, or send me a picture of your dog, and, and with, a, um, with a pen, I can mark the points also on his body. Well, on the picture, of course, not on, on him or on her. But uh, this can go on for some time, but we have had great results. Uh, even Dr. Brian McLaren used it uh, on himself and for others. Uh, I was putting broth on. Hey, all runs great when you listen to me. Make sure, heat it up until it cooks and then let it simmer for hours. Okay? Not, um, it's cooking for six hours or longer, but simmering. Okay? You don't want all the water to be cooked away. Uh, but you do want that all the nutrients uh, go from out of the bones of the chicken, go into uh, the juice, into the water. So it makes a really strong chicken broth. And offer that because chances are, uh, if she has nystagmus, she will be nauseous. If she's nauseous, she either will not want to eat, or even if she does want to eat because she's one of those dogs who likes to eat, uh, it's highly possible that she's going to vomit. So you want to avoid all that. You don't want to give that body even more stress. So today, star, uh, standard points, think points. This is a small dog. I think she was, I don't know, five kilos or something. So uh, on boat, you have the you have the silver torch, if I remember well. Yeah, um, three point three seconds per point is fine. On both sides of the body, remember, always on both sides of the body. And then once you are, we're, we're home now, uh, you also go to the booklet of stroke. You will see that the thing points are also enumerated in there at the end, but do the other points. Okay, like here, the governor's vessel 26. Here on your governor's vessel 20, you have the little triangle. Uh, you can just transpose those points on your dog. Then um, you could also do a point on the on the on the midline of the belly for the nausea okay on the conception vessel and, and that's about it you need to give her a peace quiet not too much light um dogs who dogs and even humans who are having uh nystagmus eh, because you will if you listen to the this again you will see that I've had this myself. So I, I know pretty well how bad you can be feeling if you are having this problem. Okay, so yeah, 7.4 kilo, yeah. Uh, three, four seconds per point is more than enough. And then uh, make sure to repeat it tomorrow too, and then you can go to every two days. If you see any new symptoms, you can just go to the booklet of that symptom. So if she is vomiting, you can do the uh, points to stop the vomiting. Um, if you see she's nauseous, you do the point for nausea and so on. It's a question of taking your information pack, looking up what she's uh, showing as symptoms and doing those specific points. But if she's not too old, and anyways, if this is her first one, it just needs a little bit of time, okay? The governor's vessel points that we are going to do will also help her finding balance again. But it can take some time, okay? Well, that's it. If you have any more questions, just let me know, Heather. Uh, and I'm, you know, I'm always here in cases of emergencies.
I'm always here. You can call me day and night on my phone number, 0034-662-693-622. That is the phone number for emergencies. Uh, I have to put off my, my Facebook now at night by, because people keep on sending me messages even when I ask them not to do it when it's not urgent. You don't have to send me messages on my private profile. So I have had to decide to close off my Facebook at night. So you need to call me if there is an emergency, but I will be happy to help you. Okay? And for Kelly, who was hoping that I would answer her question today, I will try to come back later tonight or it will be for tomorrow. Bye, everybody.